Hey, YouTube, how you doing? Uh, Base Soldier 17 here. It's been a while since I freaking put a video, probably because, as you know, I was at Basic. Uh, I'm trying. This is gonna be unedited because I don't got. I don't really got time to be editing right now. All that craziness. I don't got as much time as I did back home. So, uh, just real quick, rough and dirty. Uh, basic. Nine weeks. Ten weeks, really. First two weeks or first week reception. Uh, they gave me all my shots, all my all paperwork done. It's kind of pain in the ass, but you know, it had to be done, so that was done. Basic itself, uh, you know, drill sergeants are drill sergeants. They let's just say they did their job. They ain't there to be friends. They're not friendly at all. So those of you who think, oh, they're cool, they're all humans on the inside. No, no, they're not nice at all. So. Don't expect to get any kind of love from for you crazies who thought you could. Um, me myself personally, uh, not a whole lot of problems to highlight. It was fairly smooth. Do what you're told. You know, military 101. Do what you're told. Be in the right place, in the right time, in the right uniform. Uh, show respect for your leaders, because in basic they're going to appoint um, fellow soldiers among you in your platoon as what they call PG, APG, and squad leaders. Squad leaders will be in charge of their rank, their line of men uh, in formation. There's four squad leaders usually, because there's usually four ranks. Um, above them is, above the squad leader is the APG, which is the assistant platoon guide, and the PG, which is the platoon guide. And their job is to get, once you guys get to white phase, to get, and blue phase especially, but once you get to white phase, to get all your people accounted for, where you're supposed to be, knowing what information that they're supposed to have handed out to you from the drill sergeants. So the drill sergeants will never, once you get to white phase, usually unless they're disciplining you or or it's a session where they have to teach everyone something, will generally only speak with the PG and the APG and have information disseminated through them to the squad leaders and the squad leaders will brief all the guys and girls in their uh, squad. Um, leadership positions are tough to handle and don't expect to be like if you get a leadership position because no one likes to be told what to do. Usually, before, once they join the army, they usually get taught that, but right off the bat, they won't like it. Um, so you gotta deal with it. Not everyone's gonna be on board either, so you know you're gonna have your problems here and there. Uh, best advice I can give you there is just go with it, go smooth, and the drill sergeants will see who's who's doing what's right. You know, taking that hard right instead of that easy wrong. You know and who's slacking and they'll be dealt with accordingly trust me uh, i was a squad leader for shh, about a week which almost qualifies me as veteran status and i was dropped for issues not pertaining to leadership but for uh physically fit you gotta get man it helps going into basic physically fit man i wouldn't say it broke me but i get i got close let me say it, i got close um much stronger now. I can pass the PT test and all that jazz, but let me just say it's a pain in the ass to get there. You know, it's not easy. But if you can go and fit, psh, you're golden. Uh, all that counts towards promotion points too, and being selected as an honor grad from basic or distinguished graduate. All that jazz. Uh, you know, you got BRM, which is a basic rifleman marks marksmanship, basic basic rifleman marksmanship, and uh, a whole bunch of cool stuff. You learn your weapons. You know, your M16, your attachments for that. It's all weapons familiarization. Your M16, you will get to know with, you'll get to know very well inside and out how to clean and take it apart. All that jazz, because that's, you know, Army 101. Um, you also have this thing called weapons immersions. Like, the week, first week or the second week, pretty sure it's the first week, you get your weapon. And your weapon will never leave you by your side for anything. Because the only place it can't go with you is obviously certain training areas. Like classrooms, but even then they'll be in the rooms in a weapon stack. Uh, obviously, they can't go in the latrine. Um, if you don't have your weapon with you, it better be with a battle buddy. That's how it rolls. So you always have your weapon buddy. I'm in AIT right now. I'm in advanced individual training uh, for artillerymen. 13 Bravo. Can crew member, I think the official title is. Um, and so we don't have weapons. We don't have M16s with us right now. But we're gonna have one go out in the field. That's a whole nother story. I'll explain that in another video. But uh, basic was downright. 
I want I won't say easy because you have your moments. Uh, if you got you've got these road marches that'll break you if you're not ready for them sometimes, and you've got some tough physical challenges and some tough mental challenges. But fucking just put your head down and plow right through. And I tell you, it's all about will. All about will doing what's right when even even when no one's looking and just doing what you're supposed to at all times is really what it boils down to it's too easy it's too easy to figure out um like i said i'm in ait right now at fort sill uh learning 13 bravo kind of crew member uh they i'm on the 119er m119er alpha do what really the down the nomenclature is on the 119er it shoots uh, 105 millimeter shells. It's like the smallest version of artillery we have, but it's high speed, quick and fast. Freaking, you know, I can tell I'm already gonna like this MOS, so it's good to go. Um, I get out in about three weeks, three weeks, three weeks and a half, three and a half weeks, I believe. Um, so I'll try to get more videos out to you when I can. Um, otherwise, basic was a blast. Got discipline, got stronger. AIT is making me much stronger. We run a lot more in AIT. Uh, yeah, that's it. So if you got questions or anything at all, advice you need or some kind of question, I will uh, get to you with any comment or video response if I want to. So just leave your video responses down there or your comments down there. Rate it, favorite it, let your friends know. I'm always willing to give some advice, answer some questions. Or freaking give me ideas for videos. I'm gonna run out of those really quick. Uh, like these next one or two videos probably will be updates you get you up to speed on what's going on with me. But give me ideas for videos. What do you guys want to know? Or what do you want me to talk about? Or what do you want to see within limits? Like I, for security reasons, can't really show you a whole lot of the base or certain parts of the base. I can only really show you like my room, my bunk, you know, my rest of my rooms, you know, my door, my lockers. All that jazz. I can't show you a whole lot of the base. So, yeah. Oh, another thing basic. Um, trainees. Nothing basic trainees. Uh, covet. For the whole time, basic, you'll be wearing this thing called a PC, which is, or, yeah, a PC, which is a patrol cap or a soft cap. There's a whole lot of for it. And you will sometimes see these coveted black berets rolling around. You know, this is the coveted black cloth. When you graduate from basic, you'll get to wear it. And it's usually after the 16K road march. Personally, the, the beret for me is a pain in the mother freaking ass. Because you gotta... It's pain. You gotta shave these things. And you gotta shape them. And then whenever you leave a building, you gotta... Uh, you gotta... Um, you got to you know, remold it to your face and fix it and make sure it's sharp looking and all that jazz. So this is how it's supposed to extend halfway below the ear. Patch the uh screen patch has to be above your left eye and all that jazz. I mean it is a real pain. Sometimes I prefer the PC. But as a Canon crew member thirteen bravo watch the room in, I'm freaking wearing the patrol cap all day. And I'll show you that in another video. But this is what I'm usually wearing outside if I'm just trying to look good. You know what I'm saying? So that's it for now. This went along a little longer than I expected, but unedited, raw. I didn't feel like editing. I don't really have time to. So I will catch you later, YouTube. Bam.